Professor Carafit here. I am doing this video for those of you who can't use Excel because you have a Chromebook or you can't get it to download properly on some kind of Mac device or maybe it's an iPad. I'm going to show you how to do scatter plot graphs on Google Chrome. Now it's going to be a little bit messy and complicated and uh, I can't help that, but that's how that's how it works, okay? Uh, so bear with me. I'm going to walk you through this. Now on the screen, I have an example from lab one of scenario three. And I have already calculated the average standard deviation and standard error. If you don't know how to do that, watch one of my Excel tutorials on the lab website. It works the same way in Sheets as it does in Excel. Okay. Now the next thing we have to do is I'm going to copy these hours of study and I'm going to paste them down here. And I am going to copy the average exam scores then and paste them down. Oops, sorry about that. I have to show you that, don't I? Okay, I, have to, I copied these, I copy these, and I need to paste them here, but I, I have to paste the values, not the formula used to calculate those averages. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click paste special and click paste values only. So that way it copies these numbers up here. It doesn't copy uh, the formula used to calculate these because these are averages that I calculated and it was trying to calculate the, or paste the formula not the raw numbers. Now another thing you can do in Sheets to make your numbers more manageable is you can highlight this column and use the button up here to decrease the number of decimal places to something more realistic and manageable. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. <clears throat> All right, um, and now what you're going to do is you're going to paste these values over here. Um, one way, I'm going to go, you don't have to do this, but one way to help keep track is to And actually, that helps me because I need to move this. I went ahead and, and wrote out the hours of study this way as well. And this will just help me to place these properly. So basically, right here, for one hour of study, I need to paste that value. And then for two hours of study, I need to paste it here. So under this number two and next to this number two. Okay, Same thing for three. And so you end up getting a getting a diagonal line of values. And I could explain why you have to do this, but just trust me, you have to do it to get this to work in, in uh, Google Sheets. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of these values to make sure they don't mess us up later now. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this data, and I'm going to go to Insert. Or actually, you don't have to do that. You can go over here to insert chart, and I'm going to insert a chart. Now, this is not the style of chart that I want. What I want is actually a scatter plot. And, and in this case, that scatter plot actually looks okay. Sometimes it won't look okay. Uh, like sometimes it'll look like this. <laughs> okay. And if it looks like that, have a look at the options here. Uh, I'm in, in chart editor and setup. I have to click the bottom option here and unclick the top one. And then it displays everything like I want. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this axis smaller because I don't need it to go all the way to zero because my lowest number is uh, 60 something. So I'm just going to double click it and put for minimum value, I'm going to put 50 there. That makes the graph look a lot nicer. Okay, <clears throat> so now what do I have to do, you may ask. <laughs> so let's go ahead and um, I've clicked on the graph, so, so this is visible over here. I'm gonna go over here to um, chart and axis titles, and let's do a horizontal axis title. And in this case, that is going to be study time and that's ours. Okay, now I'm going to go to vertical title and I'm going to call that exam average and the unit is percent. Okay, oops. 
Okay, so now I have to go to customize and I'm going to go ahead and insert the trend line. Uh, to do that, we go to series and Notice how all these dots are orange, so I'm going to tell it to do this only to series 5. And I'm going to say trend line, and I'm going to tell it to use the equation. Now, probably what you'd want to do now is write down the equation of the line. Y equals 8.83 times X plus 56.5. Uh, you might want to write that down. You could include it in your assignment. Um, but it might not show up on the graph when we're done. So you might go ahead and just jot that down while you're doing it if you are including a trend line on your graph. All right, the next thing we're going to do now is include error bars. And this is a bit of a mess, so bear with me. I'm going to scroll down so we can see our standard errors that we've put in. So now what I need to do is I need to uh, click on Data Series, and I need to go to Data Series 1. That is the first dot. And I'm going to come down, I'm going to say I want error bars, and I need to tell it that I want that to be a constant value. And then, then I here type in the standard error. And I'm going to just go to two uh, decimal places here. So 2.03 for that one. And notice, if you look at this, it changed it to 23. I don't know what, ex what uh, Google's deal is, but sometimes you have to type things a couple times. To, to prove to it that you mean what, you, what you're typing. And I'm going to press uh, enter, or I guess just click out of that. Oops. I'm not very good at this. I'm, I'm learning this with you, so bear with me. <clears throat> okay, so, oops. All right, I need to go to series again because uh, I clicked out of it. Now I'm going to go to data series 2. And I'm going to come down to error bar, and I'm going to type in 1.2 for that one. Then I guess I can just scroll right back up and go to data series three and go to error bar and I need to type in my standard error which is 0.88. Okay, and now I can go to data series four which is the last one and type 1.45 for my error bar. 1.45. Okay, so there's the error bars. Now, I don't know, I think this is ugly uh, this weird legend over here. And so to get rid of that, unfortunately, it also gets rid of the equation of the line, which is why you might need to write it down to show the, so you can type it out and prove to the instructor you did it. But if you go in here and go to legend and go to, uh, go to none, maybe there's a better option that you can figure out. But if you go to none, it gets rid of those colorful dots but it also unfortunately gets rid of the trend line. But then you can copy and paste this graph into uh, an Excel sheet, and uh, I'm sorry, into a Word file and type your figure caption. So that's how you add error bars to a scatter plot in Excel. It's a little bit clunky. You can complain to Google and have them fix it, but that's, as, uh, that's the free option that I can find for everyone who has trouble with Excel. All right, hope that helps.